Former U.S. President Donald Trump was asked whether he wanted Ukraine to win the war against Russia. Trump responded by saying, I want the war to stop, declining to take sides between Russia and Ukraine. The answer will likely reverberate in the days to come, especially for a candidate that is viewed as solicitous of Vladimir Putin. Asked again, Trump said there needs to be a deal to end the war. Do you want Ukraine to win this war? I want the war to stop. I want to save lives that are being uselessly, people being killed by the millions. It's the millions. It's so much worse than the numbers that you're getting, which are fake numbers. And it's only getting worse, and it could lead to World War III. Don't kid yourself, David. We're playing with World War III, and we have a president that we don't even know if he's... Where is our president? We don't even know if he's a president. And, and just to clarify they here... They threw him out of a campaign like a dog. We don't even know. Is he our president? But we have a president, Mr. president that doesn't know he's alive. Your time is up. It would, just to clarify in the question, do you believe it's in the U.S. best interest for Ukraine to win this war, yes or no? I think it's the U.S. best interest to get this war finished and f just get it done. All right. Negotiate a deal because we have to stop all of these human lives from being destroyed. First of all, it's important to remind the former president you're not running against Joe Biden, you're running against me. I believe the reason that Donald Trump says that this war would be over within 24 hours is because he would just give it up. And that's not who we are as Americans. Let's understand what happened here. Um, I actually met with Zelensky a few days before Russia invaded, tried through force to change territorial boundaries to defy one of the most important international rules and norms. If Donald Trump were president, Putin would be sitting in Kyiv right now. And understand what that would mean, because Putin's agenda is not just about Ukraine. Understand why the European allies and our NATO allies are so thankful that you are no longer president and that we understand the importance of the greatest military alliance the world has ever known, which is NATO, and what we have done to preserve the ability of Zelensky and the Ukrainians to fight for their independence. Otherwise, Putin would be sitting in Kyiv with his eyes on the rest of Europe, starting with Poland. And why don't you tell the 800,000 Polish Americans right here in Pennsylvania how quickly you would give up for the sake of favor and what you think is a friendship with what is known to be a dictator who would eat you for lunch. Have you ever met Vladimir Putin? Can you clarify tonight? Yet again, I said at the beginning of this debate, you're going to hear a bunch of lies coming from this fellow. And that is another one. More than a dozen school districts shut down Monday across a wide swath of southeastern Kentucky as a grueling search stretched into a third day for a gunman who opened fire on an interstate highway and wounded five people over the weekend. Trooper Scotty Pennington from the Kentucky State Police said this manhunt has become a methodical effort, similar to hide and seek. Searchers have been combing the rugged, hilly area since Saturday evening when a gunman began shooting at drivers on Interstate 75 near London, a small city of about 8,000 people about 75 miles south of Lexington. Joseph A. Couch, 32, was named a suspect in the shooting after authorities recovered his SUV on a service road near the crime scene. They later found a semi-automatic weapon nearby that they believe was used in the shooting, said Deputy Gilbert Acciardo, a spokesperson for the sheriff's office. Authorities vowed to keep up a relentless pursuit of the gunman in the densely wooded area as local residents worried about where the shooter might turn up next. Administrators in Rockcastle County, just north of where the shooting took place, closed for the day, as did Knox County to the south. Classes also were cancelled at three regional college campuses. This is a tragedy that has happened in the edge of Laurel County and Rockcastle County. And hopefully we can get some resolution to this quickly and in a timely manner. I know the citizens of our community in both Rockcastle and Laurel counties are, are, are stressed to the max. And, and law enforcement is working tirelessly to bring this to a, a calm and an ease for them. Um, this manhunt has become a, a methodical effort, uh, similar like a hide and seek. 
We're focused on protecting the residents and their homes and the businesses during this crucial time. Our goal is to apply steady pressure and wearing Mr. Couch down. Uh, the longer he is in the woods, you know, late, last night it got pretty chilly and today it's got kind of humid and hot. Uh, hopefully he has no water and nothing to eat and just time that we will wear him down and putting pressure on him with constant steady uh, air, tra air our helicopters flying over, drones flying over, uh, dogs, SRT in, in, the, uh, in the woods looking, um, cars running up down the interstate. Just things like that is putting pressure on him. And, and hopefully he's, he'll eventually just walk out of the woods and give himself up. This is a constant communication effort. So people, you know, ask why aren't we just going in there? You know, if you've followed my Facebook in the last hour or so, we have gave you a photograph of the area. It's not like going over to this business and looking for somebody in there. It's not like going to a football field and trying to find somebody behind the bleachers. We are in the Daniel Bune National Forest. And this is thousands and thousands of acres. And I stated last night, it's kind of like a jungle. Well, it is like a jungle. And we have cliff beds. We have sinkholes, we have caves, we have culverts that go under the interstate. We have reek, uh, creeks and rivers uh, and the dense brush. I mean, it's not something I can just take my dog for a natural walk through. Yes, there are paths, but when we're looking for somebody, we have to go through those dense areas. We have to, we have to go and make sure no rock is unturned to find not just him, but to find evidence. He was in the military but it was not the Army uh, National Guard, it was the Army Reserves. So um, he, he's been discharged with an Arnold discharge. Um, so I wanted to clarify that. And you gotta think it's hunting season. People are still out there hunting. So we encourage people in the community, if you're gonna be hunting, please don't be out at Cromer's Ridge in Livingston area. Please stay away from that area for a couple of days until we come to resolve. And, and, and people out in the community don't, don't have somebody that I'm going to save the world. I'm going to just go out and go find him myself. Because not only could could uh, you get harmed, you, you could get killed. And, and we don't want that to happen. And so, as of this time, we have not, the evidence has not come that we have located him. But it's very slow. It's a very slow process.